Hey there, Polish mortals, and welcome back. So today we are going to be watching Arcane Season 2, Episode 8. And this next episode is called Killing is a Cycle. It sure is. That definitely seems to be the thesis of this show. Like you just look at Jinx and Caitlyn and Bessa, everyone. It's just always going after revenge and nothing ever gets better because violence begets violence. But hey, maybe we can finally break it with Echo having gone through what he did. Maybe he could be our little champion who saves Zon and Piltover and figures out a way to finally stop this cycle that could be so cool i'm so excited for this episode penultimate episode of the entire show i cannot wait to see what they're gonna do in this and how they're gonna set up the finale i'm sure this is gonna be heartbreaking i mean i'm assuming every episode for a couple of episodes now has been heartbreaking so yeah i'm not really expecting anything different for this one either but yeah i'm very excited to see what they're gonna do and what our jinx is gonna be like it's finally time to catch up with her after isha's death yeah okay i'm not ready but i'm gonna have to hit play so yeah let's just jump into this episode <laughs> Oh my god, it's smell time. Hell yeah! I'm so excited to see what's going on with her. Yes! Explode, girl! Explode! This is where we left off! Oh my god, girl! This is crazy! What is she? Drink the moment, Melmadada. There is no time like your first. Her first what? Explosion? We each have our own expressions. Yours is quite rare. An empath, attuned to the ethereal, able to sense others' inner selves and bend their magic. A conduit. That is so cool. You killed him. I gave Ambessa every opportunity to atone for her transgressions. She chose pride over progeny. Your talents develop quickly. The arcane is waking up. What has my mother done? A calamity is approaching, rivaling even the ancient rune wars. Ambessa sits at the helm, blinded by her thirst for legacy. Our efforts to divert her course are founded. We can't afford another failure. This is what you see in me? A silver bullet? She has always done what she thought was best for the family. Yeah, but what if she's the reason Piltover might disappear? Those untouched by the arcane fear us. So they've been touched by the arcane? Oh, why would you put that on? You don't know what that is. That's what I'm saying. What did I just do to her? is a perilous place for a solitary mage. Oh. Sister. Okay, she's walking away, but she wasn't wearing the necklace. Is that a good sign? Bad sign? Also, it seemed like maybe they were the ones who sent that mage to rescue Jace. Was that also that Ambassador couldn't destroy the world? Or are they trying to make sure that the arcane gets loose? Where it could just take everything over or something? Like, what is their goal? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm very intrigued. I'm so happy we get to finally catch up with Mal. Her story is so interesting. <gasps> when they're still alive. Oh, this is awful. So Isha died for nothing. They're still just gonna destroy Vendor. Is that Victor? Is he still alive? You're telling me no one died besides Isha? These riders want me dead. His injuries were too severe. Mm -hmm. We do not lament a warrior's death. We avenge it. You really gotta stop avenging things. You're the cycle of killing, lady. Doctor. Your ingenuity deserves praise. Victor. I am grateful. The world I now see is more. Lucid than ever. It's a killer, bad man. We are one. This is the glorious evolution. I don't, don't, don't think I agree. An anomaly festers beneath the hex gates. Yeah, the arcane. This will allow you to evolve others. In theory, 
But this is the deck has done its work. I do not have the strength to overcome the defense he will raise against me. Dude, so it was gonna be Victor who destroys the world. If you agree to empower every soldier I bring you, I will evolve all those willing. Oh, Victor, God, you lost your mind, like fully. I will cry. I can't believe they truly only killed Isha. That is so fucked up. Jinx, Caitlin wanted to be here to tell you herself. Loris. What, please? What is it? Arrested? I can oh. handle this, Maddie. Okay, that's not too bad. She wasn't there for my benefit. She was there because you didn't trust me to follow through. Can you blame me? How long were you sidled up with that shifty, self-serving war pig? She oinked poison in your ear and you just ate it. I know! The only thing Jinx cared about was getting you to safety. Then she just... surrendered. I didn't even have time to think before they hauled her off. She's being held in the bunker while I, while I decide what to do. I was waiting for you to recover. Kate. That's just so great. Can't erase our mistakes. Who decides who gets a second chance? Oh man, I don't know. This is a very complex issue. But it's so crazy that she actually surrendered. Oh, she's not eating. If you're here to kill me, make sure to finish the job. My little suicidal queen. There are no happy endings. Is that all you have to say for yourself? No amount of good deeds can undo our crimes. Do what you came here to do. She just wants to die. So do I, honestly. Hating you. I've hated myself. I just don't have the energy for it any longer. Oh, I thought she was gonna let her go. I didn't know your mom was there. It probably wouldn't have made a difference, but... I didn't know. Oh my god. I honestly can't believe Isha's death didn't, like, destroy her in the way I thought it was going to. I mean, she seems very destroyed, but just more in the, like giving up on life way instead of the rampage away. Jace? Let's swap stories. What have you been up to? What happened to you? Yeah. So how much time do you have? You're the reason we didn't die in the attack. Apparently so. Zarka. Why just me? Why not save all of them? She clearly couldn't control it. I didn't have any greater awareness. How can I know you aren't lying to me? Why would you think I am? Because you used me and Victor for Hextech. You called us investments. Two brilliant young inventors who shared a penchant for impossible surprises, carrying magic from myth to machine, rallying the open hearts of a Just, just control it, control it, please. Oh my god. What? What? Who the hell is that? What the fuck is that? Allow us a moment of civility, Jace. We oh must Oh my talk. god. Oh my god, that's what the thing is looked like in the other dimension. I would have shown you the merits of my work. Our work. Yeah, he's seen it. Everything you've done to these people, you did alone. <laughs> say what you came here to say. Somehow I think you already understand what must transpire to complete my mission. I would prefer to do so in peace. The Noxian has other intentions. Mother? <laughs> oh my god, that was so creepy. Your mind has become rigid, Jace. Fear clouds your judgment. The chain of events started with you. Okay, well, he's sorry now, okay? He didn't realize where he was gonna leave. Oh my god, oh my god. Let us instead do this once again as partners. Maybe not, actually. My partner died in this room. Yeah. It was my sincere desire to avoid this. Avoid what? Avoid what? Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah. Don't kill Jace, please. What is that? What is he saying? Victor! Victor! Let's go, huh? You got this? Okay, that 
that was so cool. Did that actually hurt Victor? <sighs> Yay, my favorite power couple. Doctor, you may begin the process. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Why? Why are you like this now? Can we undo it? Or is Victor just gone? <gasps> hey, Silco. Go away. You're too late. Oh, sweetie. Killing isn't mercy. <laughs> a spark of rebellion still burns inside that husk, I see. No, killing is a cycle. One that started long before Vanda and me. And that will continue. No, we're gonna stop it. We've had enough. I'm done running in circles. We build our own prison. That's my girl. I think the cycle only ends when you find the will to walk away. Okay, girl. I don't know what that was, but maybe she will be able to walk away. She's already giving herself that pep talk. I believe in her. I swiped these from the guard station. If you come, help use all that explosive potential of yours for good, maybe we could rewrite your story like you did with Zahn. What do you think? Yes, please. <sighs> She's finally accepting Jinx. You're never gonna give up on me, are you? Oh, I love this so much. What are you doing? Hey! Why did you do that, Jinx? You don't have to worry about me anymore. You don't need to feel guilty about being happy. You deserve to be with her. Wait! What are you doing, girl? There's no good version of me. Yes, there is! Just talk to Echo! Break the cycle. Jinx! Girl... Girl, what are you doing? Breaking the cycle would be doing good, right? Not killing yourself or whatever she's trying to do. I'm sorry, I've been an idiot. And an ass. Okay, yeah. There is no force in this world that can control you. You will never be a passenger. A storm is coming. The likes of which Piltover, perhaps Ruterra itself, has never faced. Is this what's gonna unite them? Like Zahn and Piltover, our common goal? I'm asking, no begging you. Every one of you, top side and bottom, to aid us in this coming war. Oh my god. We need every hand we can get. Who is this? Should I know? Oh my god, we're uniting. I mean, under very depressing and scary circumstances. But hey, maybe finally this feud can be done with. If you choose to flee, don't stop running. But I'm choosing to fight, and I pray that you will join me. Nice speech, Jace. Uh, hey, but you guys are fighters. Where are you going? Just oh, was she the bartender in the other universe? Is no one coming to help fight? Oh yeah, there they are. I knew it. <gasps> she got off the train. Let's fucking go, girl. Had a feeling I might find you here. I really believe she'd help. Say it. You told me so. I was an idiot to trust her. I went behind your back. I choose wrong every time. And because of it, I lost everyone. I don't think you've lost Caitlyn yet. You really think I needed all the guards at the Hex Gates? She has such a big heart. Sorry to say, you've grown a bit predictable. Oh, oh, oh yeah! Together. I hope she broke up with Maddie at some point, though. Get it, girls! Get it! While you were gone, I saw someone. Kate. Thank you for your honesty. I don't fucking care. <laughs> but it's like, okay, but like, shut the fuck up and let's get down to business. Don't you guys just want to go up to a room, though, with a bed instead of a grungy cell? Seems very unsanitary. Like, yeah, check out my boobs. They're great. I'm so happy for them. At least someone's having a good time. Hey mom, I'm back. Did you miss me? You're alive. No thanks to you and your lies. I know about the Black Rose. How do they end? Fuck her up. You know a facade. They're nothing but lies. And what are you exactly? Your brother was struck with curiosity. 
He got caught in their web and with every action grew more deeply entangled. So you let him die? <gasps> oh, jeez. The fact you've come to parlay for your friends' lives prove you still lack the wrath necessary to defeat an enemy like the Rose. Because she doesn't want innocents to die? An army that need never fear death. Sounds fun. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, not creepy at all. Very normal stuff. Oh. Yes? God, what's the process? Oh, Vander. Leave him the fuck alone, you bitch. Yes, this is goodbye. Why? What's gonna happen here? I will miss our talks. Why is she disappearing? No, you won't. Victor that far gone? He doesn't even care about Sky anymore? Ah, come on! Leave him alone! What is this? What am I looking at? Is he possessing Vander now? Are you really gonna stop? this show so fucking much how is this like the third time i'm losing vander like how are they gonna kill him three times in the same show what is this supernatural i don't understand what's happening what am i looking at oh they're all getting turned into these robot looking thingies What happened if to him? The line. Okay, sure. Yeah, it's over. Well, so far, no success on the not crying part. <sighs> this show is making me so sad. And like, how is there only one episode left after this? I feel like there's still so much we have left to do. How are they gonna wrap everything up in one more episode? Like, we still need. Echo to come back. We still need to somehow try and destroy the arcane, do the whole Mel and Ambassador storyline, focus on Jinx, and like maybe have her and Vi's relationship be repaired. Or like, I'm a little worried that they're gonna kill Jinx. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I can handle it. Just a heads up. But like the way she was this episode, she seems very broken. And even though she finally got what she wanted, which was Vi, loving her accepting her and not giving up on her she was like mm, actually i don't want that anymore i'm gonna go jump off a cliff or something like i don't know what she's planning but it has me stressed out so badly so yeah i'm only gonna be watching the finale tomorrow like i simply cannot handle that today but yeah i'm a little worried and nervous and like curious to see how they're gonna wrap everything up i mean i guess we're like kind of halfway there with like the conflict between piltover and zon like we are currently uniting our forces together and fighting a common enemy which would probably lead to zon being more part of piltover and like having more rights and not being so oppressed and just like the general vibes that we saw in that other dimension where echo was so i do understand how they're gonna fix that plot point or like where that could go but i feel like there's still just so much left of this story and i don't know how they're gonna wrap it all up and i'm so scared it's gonna be sad because it's been nothing but sad so far so yeah sure I'm excited! Yay, finale time tomorrow! How fun! But yeah, I mean, this was an amazing episode. I loved it a lot. That's it. <laughs> That's all there is. Let's not talk about the parts that broke me and gave me a heart attack and just stressed me out to no end. We're here. We're very close to the finale now and I'm very, very nervous to see how this show will end. Who said it? Jinx, that there are no happy endings or maybe it was Silco I don't remember honestly but someone said that and whoever said that you get a slap from me because shut the fuck up yes there are and this show will have a happy ending okay like Echo will come back and fix everything and it's gonna be fine 
I mean, I guess maybe we will lose Victor at the end of it, which also is so sad. Like he was such a fascinating character and he was just trying to do good. He was trying to help people and end their suffering. And he didn't want anyone to feel the way he felt. And he wanted Hextech to be for everyone and to help people. And it's just so sad to see that he turned into a villain. Like this is exactly what I was fearing at the beginning. And I hate that I turned out to be correct, but... Yeah, it's such a tragic story as well. Because you're like, I get it. Like, you were trying to do good. And now in the end, you just got corrupted by it so badly. And I'm really not looking forward to, like, his and Jace's fight. Like, they used to be partners. And I guess Jace did already let Victor go. Like, he realized that the version of him that he loved died on that day where Jinx blew up the council. Like, how awesome that technically this is kind of Jinx's fault as well but we're gonna ignore that because we love her and she could do no wrong it's fine but yeah I'm really not looking forward to their final fight where maybe Jace will actually have to kill Victor for good that's gonna be really sad for him but yeah that's a verdict for another day so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this reaction thank you so much for watching and as always a huge huge shout out goes out to my patreons for supporting me Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. I really appreciate every single one of you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.